You see the book of Jude, verse 24. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakar Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim worldwide that are sincere and serious in doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakar Kodash. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 to you all. <clears throat> I'm the brother of the disciple Kosha Banyamian from the branch of the great millstone Barbados. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who you ignorantly call God or Jehovah. And his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. So this video is about the sex workers in this island. And they're scared because there's a man um, basically stalking them. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, I have the I have the paper. When is this paper today? I have today's paper here. I'm sorry. When is this paper here? Today is Friday. When is the August 12, 2020? And the woman on the screen here is going to give an account of what happened so you can play it. <clears throat> and um, getting a couple of scriptures because uh, really it's time for you, you uh, so called sex workers, to repent. Alright? The Lord's name is not Jesus, no, he is not a so called white man. You see? He's a so called Negro like you. Alright? And he's calling you back to give you back righteousness huh? in the kingdom of heaven. I can play a little bit here. Get a couple of scriptures. It's a bad experience, one time. So, me, me and my friend were sitting up there, and a guy came with a gun and stick up a, a guy that was there talking to us that bought some condoms for him. It's a bad experience. The police bring back the guy. He did anything. He didn't do anything. Up to this moment, Nobody here come as yet. The welfare ain't helping you, nobody ain't helping you. And you're trying your best to get no help, and nobody ain't going up in here. And you're trying to get your own dollar bills, and people coming to rob you, and it's not nice. So y'all are uneasy about this situation, yes, especially yes. what happened on... What happened with um, the girl first, and then Masuka. Yes, it's very hard. It's very hard for us out there. You're scared? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm finished. I'm not going back. My life is more important than that. I'm not going back. <clears throat> so that's where you need to trust in the Heavenly Father now. His name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Let me get a scripture. Psalms 124 and verse 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Alright. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. You understand that? That is scripture. Now as you heard the lady said. They went to welfare. They can't get. They basically. The motor seat, they ain't getting no help at all, at all, at all. See? So that's why some women are forced to go on the streets to sell what they have. You know what I mean? <clears throat> to keep a roof over their head. Um, you know, basically to survive, feed their children, etc. But uh, really, it's time to stop all that and repent. It's good to say there should be no whores of the daughters of, of Israel. Get that there now too. But there's Psalms 130 and 7. Let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy. And with him is plenteous redemption. Alright. So you're supposed to hope. 
in the name of the Lord. All right. Now, the newspaper I have in front of me says this. I can just read a little bit of it. <clears throat> right? Um, they was held at gunpoint. The women ran. Now, it, it says here, it comes on the heels of a vicious knife attack last Saturday morning on a popular sex worker who goes by the name of Muscle Cat. Yeah, she, I ain't gonna show her face, I have her face on my phone here, a picture was sent to me, but I ain't gonna do it, see, right? uh, but she was stabbed, uh, I think, and multiple times, you know what I mean, multiple times, but she survived, you see, the Lord let her live, right, so it, it, it's time for you women out there that doing this, to turn to your Heavenly Father, He will provide for you and guide you, because you are the daughters of Zion. You were supposed to be out there doing this thing, man. It's like, you, I know you're doing it. You're not doing it for the wrong reasons. You know the movie, um, what's your name now? That movie, boy. Basically, the woman was doing it just to provide for herself, to send her daughter, to send herself to school, etc. I forget the name of the movie, man. BET movie. She ain't doing it because the money good. She doing it because she other options, you see? And you women does when they resort to in these last days, when they resort to selling on the ass even more. Cause when they're trying to keep a roof over on the head, food on your plate, etc. But really you should really seek the heavenly father and son first. And he will provide a man for you, he will provide a way for you. Do the one we train three seventeen, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Alright, so you women shouldn't be whores out there in the streets, my sight. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. So you men should be no bullers neither. No bullying women. Yeah, that's, a, that, that's a big thing in this earlier here, bullying women, right? Now it says here, it comes on the heels of a vicious knife attack last Saturday morning on a popular sex worker who goes by the name of Masa Kiat. I ain't gonna tell you what she named Masa Kiat. The culprit is still at large. The 40-year-old sex worker said this latest incident had left most of the women traumatized. Given the tears, she said they had spotted a man during the night in an abandoned building opposite where they hang out. So she just gave a detail of what happened. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the women frightened. The women ran straight to the clinic, you know what I mean? Um, she got involved in the sex trade. One of the women here got involved in the sex trade three years ago. Vow not to return to the streets. This is real how we friend and they ain't giving me no work, they ain't giving me no help. And when you go to the welfare department, them ain't doing nothing for you. We need work to do. She said a lot of girls did not come out on Sunday night after the stabbing incident. We just tell we said we going out last night Monday. We thought that everything would have been okay. I don't know if somebody is stalking me, but I ain't going back. So, that is it, you know what I mean? Uh, let me read it again, Deuteronomy 23, 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. So, yeah, it's time for you women to repent, man, you know what I mean? Because the kingdom of heaven is for you too. You say, you know what I mean? St. Matthew 21 and jumping straight to the point, 31. Whether of them twain did the will of his father, they say unto him, the first, Yahweh shall save unto them. Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. You see, so you women, a lot of you harlots out there, you're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven for the mere fact that you believe in the truth. You shall know the truth. This is the truth here. This is St. John 8. That you are not a Bajan. Right? A Trinidadian, etc. You are a daughter of Zion. And it is time to repent. And then you can be free. Your mind is going to be free. John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Alright, one last preset. As you see my phone here, you can die. 
right? Um, Salakia, Salakia. Right, try this again. No, the internet it won't, it won't play the ass no. All right, good. All right, so sit Matthew 24. All right, let me go to verse 40. All right, sit Matthew 24. Let me start 38, 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. So women are going to be saved and a lot of them will include these harlots, man. Because they simply believe. You understand? They simply believe in this truth. Alright? The Lord is a so-called Negro. The Lord is a so-called Negro. From the tribe of Judah, his hair is like wool, and his feet like fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice had the sound of many waters. His father, his name is Yahweh. His hair was like the pure wool. Alright? So you look just like them. Alright? And it is time to hear this word, this truth, and repent. And turn back. Alright. Let me get one last preset. Isaiah. 55. Isaiah 55. And 7. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our power. For he will abundantly pardon so yeah this includes you sex workers too you see this includes you sex workers it's time to repent you know what i mean it's time to really repent let me get one last preset <laughs> it says so just now but this is how he spread his world huh <coughs> isaiah 32 You see, in a comfortable thing in Babylon right now, you see? Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women, that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Yeah, you gotta go. Listen, man. <laughs> well, wow, I'm really proud of it, but I, 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 um, it was here in the early, you call it picking a fear. I right? pick fears already, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and, um, I used to roll, you know, man, that, was famous for doing that you know what i mean um the thing is in 2020 it is more dangerous now than back then because it is a time of vengeance for the lord it says in ephesians 5 redeeming the time for the days are evil so it ain't like before it ain't like before you see Verse 10, many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Vintage is goods, services, you know what I mean, resources, you see, you're, going to, you're not going to get things in abundance like one time, right? If our next, we, we got our next with uh, peril, that's in Lamentations, you know, uh, Lamentations, boy, we got our she was that scripture boy and I look at my mind boy I don't want to make this too long you know, you know what I mean but yeah our next are under persecution 
we labor and have no rest. Right? That's in Lamentations. Lamentations 5. Lamentations 5 and 5. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. You see? So they're not rest in this place. So thank you women to wake up. Tremble ye, Isaiah 32 and 11. Tremble ye women that are at ease. You see? Time to be afraid now. Be troubled, you kill this one, strip you, and make you bear a girl's sackcloth upon your loins. They shall, so the Lord is going to strip you of the goodies you used to get. See? Because you refuse to hearken. If you come to the Lord, right? Then you will be of more value than many sparrows. And then he will send <coughs> uh, comfort your way, ease your way. Isaiah 32 and 12, they shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Yeah, you see, so you can want, you can be crying for the pleasant things you once had. You see? So it's time to repent, man. You know what I mean? <clears throat> because the day the Lord is at hand, right? And you women can need a man of that day for protection, I tell you. Well, really, Lord, tell you, I there for one, but I can end the video there. It's right. It's time to come back, boy. You daughters of Zion, sex work ain't like before. All right? The sex work is not like before. Yeah, well, last night was a bad experience on Jamal Slayer. Me and my friend were sitting up there, and a guy came with a gun and a stick up. A guy that was here talking to us, that bought some condoms for him. It's a bad experience. The police bring back the guy. He did anything. He didn't do anything. Up to this moment, nobody ain't come as yet. The welfare ain't helping you, nobody ain't helping you. And you're trying your best to get no help, and nobody ain't doing nothing in. And you're trying to get your own dollar bill, and people coming to love you. And it's not good. It's not hard. For the young people who get that on the street. So y'all are uneasy about this situation, yes, yes. especially what happened on... What happened with um, the girl first and then Masakya. Yeah, yes, it's very hard. It's very hard for us out there. You're scared? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm finished. I'm not going back. My life is more important than that. I'm not going back. Who shall be mourned thee, O Israel? Shalom.